Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Thomas Cavanaugh Construction is proud to present Live from the Hunt Camp! Valley Heritage Radio's annual trek to the grand old camps of the Ottawa Valley. Now, let's join the Hunt Camp crew and see where they are today. Hello and welcome to the 2013 season of Live from the Hunt Camp! It is our great pleasure to be returning for our third season of the Ottawa Valley's most popular radio show. And we want to thank Thomas Cavanaugh Construction for making it all possible. I'm Andrew Cartwright. And I'm Di Bassett. And today we are here in the Pontiac on Danford Lake in Kajabajwa area. We're at a place called Camp Remember! Andrew, Andrew, what a spot we come to today, isn't it? Just wonderful. And they've actually got a red carpet outside for us to walk up. That's right. That's how we knew we were at the right place. They've rolled out this gorgeous red carpet to kind of greet us. And it's a lovely, lovely area. We, we're here joined by a whole bunch of able-bodied men who are ready to, to get out there and show us what's what. Uh, who are we going to be talking to first? I chat with Ron, Ron Martin. He's the spokesman for the camp. And how are you today, Ron? I'm great. How are you today? Well, you know, we're excited to be here, like you could tell from Andrew and all of us here. We've got Leslie, Jerry, Jason, the manager here, and we've got Louise come to make sure that Andrew behaves himself, and so far she's been very, very busy. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you. He keeps her busy, right? He keeps oh, her yeah, busy. And uh, so tell us, tell us a little bit about the hunt camp, we've please. We've had the hunt camp back here uh, probably, uh, I'd say, 15 years, 12 to 15 years, and uh, we've been hunting, actually, here for probably 20, 25 years, but we just decided that we wanted a little camp of our own, so we uh, uh, we brought this camp back here, and uh, we just love it. Every every couple of years, we uh, we try to add a little extension to it because it's quite small. But we have a great time back here. Tell us a little bit about the building because you said that you had brought it from. Where is it originally yes, from? From from my home. Yeah, and you brought just it here. Yeah, about a mile away. Yes, yes. We uh, jacked it up and uh, put some skids under it and hauled it back here with a tractor. Yep. And uh, All right. All right. yeah, and the rest of and the rest of the family came home and said, "Oh, we moved." <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we moved. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where did you park it? I can't remember. I can't. Oh! 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 So who we got here? Take us around the room with all I your family and friends, please. Here on the accordion. <laughs> I'm my Manon. Uncle Martin. <laughs> and my cousin Barry G'day. Ambridge. Good day. And uh, my two uh, boys, Jamie and Michael. Hello Ooh. there. And my brother Jerry. Howdy and guys. His, his brother in law, Denny. There's a lovely, is it a golden retriever outside? And oh, Cassie. She's beautiful oh, dog. she's under yeah. the table. Yeah, see the mascot. Oh, like some of you will be by in a few hours, but no way you're going through the drinks yet. <laughs> and how long have you guys all been hunting together now? Well, I'd say probably 20, 22, 23 oh, years. Well, Most of us. Count but, him. Well, if you're going to count him, we're talking maybe, 29. what, 60 years? 29. I've been hunting for 70-some years. Are there any stories that come to mind that, that, that jump out as, as, remember that year when or anything like that? Who's the storyteller here? Ah, uh, yes, we have uh, we have some stories. Would you like to tell that story, Barry? About the fluff? About the fluff? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh fluff. it's got a title. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, you see, one day there was a deer, and we were doing a run, and there was a deer standing there, and I... Didn't want to injure it, so I was aiming for a good shot, and I took my time. I was all set to go. I had my rifle up, and a dandelion fluff landed on my sights. Oh. So what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm trying to blow the fluff off, and everybody started teasing me, and after that, they called me Mr. Fluff. Well, hey, hey, you know, that that's quite uh, nice to hear about the dandelion because until a few months ago Andrew didn't know what dandelion fluff was did you Andrew? <laughs> this is Jerry who actually an, a relatively new listener only a month ago heard about Life from the Hunter Camp and he's the one who got in touch with our Jerry who's like managed to get us invited here isn't that great Andrew? That's right Yay! Yay! Now boys I want to ask you I've, I've noticed that you've got some writing on the wall there what's all that about? It's, I, I see what <laughs> I see one that says trapped <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple. There's a trapped again, I believe. I remember that. I remember that, right? I remember 
that night I got a text message from you. You were uh, you were stuck back here in a windstorm, and there were trees. There, I think when I when I got up here, down there everywhere. were seven or eight big trees down between the turnoff to come into the camp and here. And you were working on this side with your chainsaw going out, and I was working with my chainsaw coming in. We met in the middle, <laughs> and they were still coming the, down. And just got the road cleared, and more trees were coming down. We thought we gotta get the hell out of here. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get killed back here. So that was uh, that was definitely worthy of writing on the wall. And is that how it, it it's 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 kind of become just kind of like a little message board of memories, that yeah, type of thing? Pretty much, yeah. Like you you know, uh, yeah. Anybody who shoots a buck more than welcome to write on the wall for whatever reason. You know, you guys are all welcome to sign it while you're here, because that's a pretty <laughs> epic moment for Camp Remember. Oh, I'm one of my crayons. I'd like to ask uh, I'd like to ask Ron here again. Ron, Jerry was just mentioning to me, Jerry Bim now. He said this uh, some of the hunt camps we go to, they're very competitive. Now you're obviously the best hunter in the camp. Would that be true? Oh, definitely. Yes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> What's that? And I can prove that. How yeah. can you prove that? Oh, I can do that. Prove I've, it wrong. I've got a 15-pointer uh, hanging on the wall at my place. I can show you. I, I see. Yeah. I see. 15-pointer, that's an odd number. It's an odd occasion to see a buck that size. No, actually, we're all very good hunters. There's I nobody see. better than the other. Uh, some of us have more experience than others, but... Uh, well, hey. I'm sure Claudia has the most experience. Yes. 70 years of it. 70 years of experience, yes, Claude. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and uh, now you're not doing so much the hunting, but you're really into the music, you said. Mm, I'd rather stay behind and supervise. Just, just <laughs> to make sure we're doing it right. Here's the proprietor again, Ron Martin. Ron, tell us a little bit about this 15-point buck you claim, please. It was um, the 11th of November, 1999. Remembrance Day. Remembrance huh? Day, and it was about 11 o'clock in the morning. Wow. And we were only four hunters that day, and we went into a small piece of bush, and Barry and I here we were on the watch, and uh, my uncle Claude and another one of our hunters, Ken Begley, who's not with us today, went in and they chased up to us, and a couple of deer came out. One went by yeah, out by Barry, and missed. and, and <laughs> yeah, it went by me. I missed him. <laughs> Barry had a shot at him. Oh, Good shot, Barry. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, anybody can miss, eh? <laughs> however, however, yeah. So then I was sitting on a stump, and I stood up when I heard his shot, and uh, I really was really paying attention, and just from the corner of my eye, I saw this monster of a buck. He was about two feet, three feet off the ground, sneaking by me at about 40 to 50 yards. He was almost past me, and um, I turned around, and I fired, and I got him. And wow. he was a 15-point buck. He had been fighting with an, another buck. And he had a slit in his ear, and he had uh, a broken horn. Right, so you, know. you really ruined his day then. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I made it miserable for him, yeah. But he was but He was very the, the good. Beautiful big deer. Yeah, yeah. 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 And 15-pointer, and he, he dressed 217 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's a lot of good yeah. meat. Yeah, yeah. beautiful That's deer. great. Uncle Claude, I understand that uh, there was an even bigger deer than the story that was just told. This one had 22 pointers. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, sorry, 21. One was shot off, actually. So you How, don't, how but, heavy do you think that thing was? All totally clean, but the height off it. Yeah. 350 pounds. Wow. We had, we had to hoist wow. it up with a uh, decking line up in the tree to put it in the back of a truck because we couldn't lift it. You yeah, tell it the was truth, a big one. <laughs> this, this is not a fish story. <laughs> and this was back about 1961, 62? Uh, the was 61. 1961. Yeah. yeah. We're just going to take a quick little break for a word from our sponsor, Thomas Cavanaugh Construction. And we'll get back to the guitars. We'll bring those out. We'll sing a few tunes. You are listening to Live from the Hunt Camp on Valley Heritage Radio. It's hunting season in the valley, and Thomas Cavanaugh Construction would like to remind you to be a responsible hunter and to remember these important safety tips. Always wear your hunter orange. Be aware of your surroundings. Don't hunt alone. Be sure of your target and practice gun safety. These tips will help ensure that hunting remains a safe activity for all concerned. A message from the folks at Thomas Cavanaugh Construction. Have a great hunt. We're back on live from the hunt camp with Valley Heritage Radio at the Yay! Camp Remember. Yay! 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 I 
And now you're, you're going to be playing guitar. Who's playing what? My son Michael on mandolin, okay. uh, myself on guitar, yeah. my other son Jamie on, on guitar, yeah. my brother Jerry on guitar, and, and Barry on the drum here, and my uncle on, on the accordion, and, and Denny on the uh, pepper shakers. <laughs> like a candle bright it must be the wind you can close your window tight but it still comes blowing in so I will climb the highest hill and watch the rising sun and I pray that I won't feel the chill Till I'm too old to die young Let me watch my children grow To see what they become Oh Lord, don't let that cold wind blow Till I'm too old to die young Now I have had some dear sweet friends I thought would never die. Now the only thing that's left of them is the teardrops in my eyes. If I could have one wish today, I know it would be done. Then I would pray everyone could stay till they're too old to die young. Let me watch my children grow to see what they become. Oh Lord, don't let that cold wind blow till I'm too old to die young. Let me watch my children grow to see what they become. Oh Lord, don't let that cold wind blow till I'm too old to die.
Claude, sir, that's your own composition, I was told. That is correct. And what yeah. is a lovely waltz tune? What, what's uh, the name of it? It's called uh, Chase the Buck Waltz. I mean, Chase the Buck Waltz. That's right. Well done, <laughs> really. south to the land of the pine I'm thumbing my way into North Carolina staring up the road and pray to God I see headlights I made it down the coast in 17 hours I picked me a bouquet of dogwood flowers I'm hoping for Riley I could see my baby tonight so rock me Mama like a wagon wheel Rock me mama Any way you feel Hey hey, Mama rock me rock We hope you've enjoyed Our first live from the hunt camp For 2013 and we want to thank Of course the gang from camp Remember that's located right here in Casabajua for the invitation and, of course, the great hospitality. We also want to remind you to be listening tomorrow as we make our way to Calabogie for a visit with the folks at the Bogeyman Hunt Club. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the cast and crew of uh, Live from the Hunt Camp are wearing some great mossy oak jackets. These were provided by... Uh, our Felsky shoes in beautiful downtown Killaloo there, Columbia Sports, where they're fantastic. And of course, this program would not be possible with, without the generous support of Thomas Kavanagh Construction. So, until, until tomorrow, tomorrow, from, from the, the entire, entire Valley Heritage, Heritage Radio, Radio, live from the Hunt Camp Gang, see ya! Thanks for listening to Live from the Hunt Camp, brought to you by Thomas Cavanaugh Construction. Be sure to keep that radio tuned to 98.7 FM and join us again next time. From the whole Valley Heritage Radio Hunt Camp crew, have yourself a great day.